I'm here with Sean at the Turtle Source booth, and I'm fascinated by these new turtles, Sean. You seem to know a lot about them. Uh, I always I have two albino red-eared sliders at home, and I thought I was like very sophisticated. And then yeah. I come here and I look at these these new ones that have cost almost eight thousand dollars, and I'm like, yeah. what the hell is the difference between all these and the ones I got? Explain. What's these transparent cream lubinos? Well, you got your normal albino, and on the normal albino. That's the one we have, yeah. Yeah, you can see patterning. He's got stripes on the legs, and if he came out, you could see he's got a real bright ear, and they're real yellow in color. And still pattern. You see the bottom gotcha. still pattern. So the difference with the Lubino is that there's absolutely no pattern on them. No pattern on the legs. Nothing. The blue ring around the eye. No lacerated iris either. So they wow. see better than an albino. Yeah, because sometimes the albinos don't see so well yes. in bright light. See, right? our, our, our genetics see better because of that. Even mm. our albinos. If you look at our eyes compared to another line. Right. They have a blue ring just like that, and they see what's better. Does that blue ring help them? Or does it, does. it reduce well, glare? I think so. Now, what would be a what's this butter lubino? Well, the I butter see. lubino is a little yellower, where these are cream and white. Right. So these it's are just, just yellow minor and variations. And minor variations in them, but when you grow it up, it's going to be a dramatic difference. It will. And are yes. they inheritable? Yes. Individually? Yes, they are. Now, okay. Now I see the caramel pinks, which to me are the, the one, some of the most dramatic looking ones. Yes, and not our line, but we have some caramels and mm. produce a couple what is, of them. What is the caramel pink? What is it just another caramel, morph? I think is an albino to a snow. Ah. Came up with the caramel, gotcha. just like we did albino to our hypo. Let's, yeah, let's go to this hypo because this is even more interesting. You have the, the cheddar you're calling hybino, which is really a hypo Hi, hi albino. albino. Yeah. Well, we, we, it was hypotranslucent for years, but everyone kept confusing them with the hypo that isn't a genetic thing. It's a temperature gotcha. sec, temperature so, thing. Pull, pull one of those out. What it, show me the, the uh, attributes that make this what it well, is. Well, it's, it's clear underneath. Mm -hmm. So from underneath, almost looks like an albino. Now, the reason this one is more is better is just the color in the shell. Right. The head pattern is a lot lighter. Where see how that's dark headed. And you this call this lighter. a cheddar? Is that supposed to be like cheddar cheese? Well, we're going with <laughs> we're going with all dairy products. I got you. The cream. The got you. I got you. You're sticking we this. We started good. with it, and we just right. now we're just right. going with. Now, it. what's the white albino? Because I have a regular albino. The, the white yeah. albino is just a whiter. It's just a whiter, a whiter turtle. Where you got a normal yellow albino, oh, yeah. and then you got the really white albino, and even the skin color is different. This mm. is skin is white. Where it's this amazing one is the yellow. variation in these little turtles, and how big will these things get? They get eight to ten inches. Like about that big, right? Yeah, well, bigger. Wow. Eight to ten inches. Mine's about this big. It's about a year All old. Right, so. You got a you got a ways, to, got go. A ways to go. And of course, the males don't get as big. I am here at the turtle source, our final booth of the day, and we have maybe our biggest animal of the day. If you look down here, we have a. 18 inch Aldabra tortoise. It is 51 pounds, this thing. This is enormous. You can look at the size of that head and the hand. They look like elephant uh, legs. They're just like beefy, beefy legs. And he's got a great little mouth on him there. And he's just chilling out. He's probably, uh, he'll live longer than I will, this tortoise. <laughs> and, you know, the turtle source has got some great, great stuff here. We bought some turtles from them before. We have our albino turtles. And uh, this was a great day here in Daytona at the Breeders Expo. Uh, we met a lot of great new people. We saw a lot of old friends. And you know what? Uh, we learned a lot. And uh, I actually bought some stuff and spent way too much money. But hey, that's what life's all about, having fun, right? Uh, Dave Palumbo from Muscle Serpents University.